And if we don't succeed in this battle, there's no alternative other than massive tax increases and economic stagnation. And with the demographics, I don't think any of that ends in a positive place whatsoever. So, so part of our challenge is we have to be prepared to make difficult, adult, intelligent arguments of what needs to be done. And we need to point out that anybody who opposes this necessarily is endorsing and embracing a very juristic agenda that is doomed to have negative consequences uh, for the economy. Uh, we have this fight in the U.S. because we have this movement now called national conservatism, uh, which is sort of you know the opposite of Reaganite libertarianism. Is this idea of well, let's let's have a big activist government, but we'll control it. Well, I think that's kind of naive on their part. Uh, but I, I ask these people, okay, you're going to have more spending, you're going to have industrial mm -hmm. policy, you're going to have child subsidies, all these things. How are you going to pay for it? What tax increases are you going to endorse? Because don't forget. You're embracing all this additional spending and government activism on top of everything that's already baked into the cake where government is growing and growing. And, and, and of course, they dodge that. Uh, now, of course, it's easy to dodge it because they're just saying, let's play Santa Claus on top of the current Santa Claus. But ultimately, that leads you to what Greece dealt with back in 2009 or what Italy, I think, is on the verge of dealing with if the ECB stops propping up their government bonds. Mm -hmm.